Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this front wall, and I'm going to use the little sunglasses here to hide that element. And I can see all of, all of the walls now. I'm going to zoom in, I think, on this uh, wall over here on the left side. And, oh, actually, I want to do the middle one, sorry. And what you'll know about this is, is that this is one very big piece of glass. And if you can buy it, it's going to be really expensive. So you want to break it up into uh, little pieces, like these guys are over here. See how the how these uh, walls are uh, divided up into sections? Well, we can do the same thing. And these are what are called uh, curtains. And you can have different things here. We have three different ones. We have um, we had. Anyways, I'll go back step whoops forwards uh actually we have uh under the architecture tab we have curtain systems we have curtain grid and curtain mullions i'm going to choose curtain grid here and i'll look at this window right in front of me and then we have all segments one segments all except picked i'm going to leave all segments on here now when i come into my curtain wall what you'll see is a line uh, being put onto the uh, onto the window. So I'm going to click, well, wall actually, and I put a vertical line in right there. Now, if I come over to this line right here, I'm going to click. And you can change the dimensions of these by clicking on this. And actually, I'm going to make this one seven feet. Now, I can also divide these up into smaller sections. So I can do this and this, and I can change this one to uh, four feet. And if I want to, I'll just escape out of this command right here. I can click on this line and I can change this one to four feet. That way those two are even side to side. And I'll go back to adding segments. Well, actually I'll go back to architecture and curtain grid and all segments again. And now I can divide this up a little bit if I like. And then I can click on one segment also. And I can just do one at a time if I prefer. Um, I can do the whole thing. I'll do all segments again and I'll just go all the way across. And I can make all kinds of really neat geometric patterns here. Now, once I'm done doing that, then I have to put in what are called the mullions. So I'm going to go back to my architecture tab. I'm going to click mullion. And you can do whatever you like with this window. If you want to divide it up into nice even segments or you want to make it a little more art deco, you can do uh, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to, well, you can click on here in mullions. This is grid line. And you can do these one at a time if you like, like this. Or what you can do is click all grid lines, come out and just choose that area. And that puts the mullions in to the uh, door or excuse me, into this wall right here. So again, I'll pause this. Before I stop this video, I just want to point out one more thing. And this applies before I put the mullions in or after. If I click on that particular mullion and highlight it and hit delete, it's gone the mullion is and then this is the the grid line if i just click on that and hit delete it gets rid of uh that grid line so i can take grid lines and uh, delete them if i want anytime i'm just going to put that one back whoops there we go okay